Hello kids, welcome back. Let's do physics today. Today we will do a very important topic called as machines. You all know machines make the work easy. So what are the terms related to machines? We should understand work, energy, force, load, effort, mechanical advantage along with machines. The definitions are to be known. Now what does the machine do or how does it help us? The machine enables us to apply effort that is less than load. It enables us to move the load longer than the effort. It also applies effort in a convenient direction and also applies effort in a convenient point. Now what is the principle of the machine? It is based on force that is the applied force which is called as effort and the force by the machine to do work called as load. So remember these two terms always acts when we talk about a machine. Now efficiency of a machine. What is efficiency of a machine? It is the ratio of the work output on load and the work input by the effort. So remember if we talk about an ideal machine it shows that no friction acts on it and then the mechanical advantage is 1. But actually the machine always needs some energy which is wasted to overcome the friction and this is the actual machine which we have and the mechanical advantage is always less than 1. So this is about efficiency. Now let us go to mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is ratio of the load to the effort. We can also call it as ratio of the effort arm to the load arm. So we understand that the mechanical advantage has no unit and it can either be more than 1, equal to 1 or less than 1. If it is more than 1, then the force multiplier uh, thing comes into action. That is effort is lesser than the load. Now we have 6 type of machines. Lever, pulley, wheel and axle, incline plane, wedge and screw. Wedge and screw are nothing but a type of incline planes only. Now let us go to lever. Lever is a simple rod with a fixed point called as fulcrum. We have 3 terms again to understand here. Effort, load and fulcrum. So based upon the position of these three terms we understand them as class 1 class 2 and class 3 so when we have fulcrum in between effort 1 a uh, class 1 load in between class 2 and effort in between class 3 so you have to have a diagram like this to explain the examiner that i have understood the terms and if i put the fulcrum in between then this is the first class lever now we go to pulley Pulley is a type of machine where the effort works downwards. Mechanical advantage is lesser than 1. Wheel and axle, it is a linear motion um, um, type of machine of the axle and the rotation of the wheel happens here. Then we have inclined plane. Inclined plane is nothing but a slanting surface. We have wedge. Wedge is two inclined planes joined together like axe. We have screw lastly which is a modified inclined plane with turns around it. So this is all very easily one page thing about machines in short.